So now in this video, we're going to look at a boost converter here. So these are pretty common. They're not terribly expensive right now. This probably costs a dollar or two. Usually you got to buy, you know, like five or ten of them. But uh, each one of them, uh, about a dollar or two. And you can see here where the input is and then the arrow points to the output. So now this is a boost converter. It takes a low voltage. We're going to use five volts from this power supply here and outputs a higher voltage and it's adjustable because it has this uh, trimmer potentiometer right there to adjust it we'll look at that coming up uh, real quick but in any case you see a lot of uh, converters that look like this most of them are that I've seen are buck converters so buck means it takes a higher voltage and outputs a lower voltage that you can set and uh, there's also buck boost that does both but uh, from what I've seen most of them are buck converters and so if you need a boost converter be extra careful that you see boost on there but make sure you look either way in any case it's really straightforward we take the power supply here and it has alligator clips right there usually I clip them to these jumpers which power the uh, board there and uh, this one says negative on there and I know it's blurry but uh, it's a negative that one says V in positive right there and that's it now we'll get a higher voltage out there when we turn the power supply on so before we do that let's get a multimeter here and there are some pins here that are exposed looks like it's for the trim pot so you probably won't damage anything but uh, there's some connect conductive uh, metal under those holes and so I'm just going to use the uh, plastic that this came into to help insulate that a little bit and so I'm going to take alligator clips again look at uh, the writing on there this says out positive over here so I'm going to put the red probe there and out negative there this is it for wiring it up uh, literally it's uh, that easy it's just however you connect it that uh, is important so we got them connected up I'm going to turn on the uh, voltmeter and zoom back a little bit it's a multimeter setting it to measure voltage and so we take the other end of the alligator clip there you can see that the power supply there is off and uh, the uh, black side of uh, this jumper wires are getting a little crazy right there we're gonna plug to the black alligator clip so now this does output a negative voltage when it is off by about 0 0.06 volts and so uh, 0.6 volts I should say and uh, so I'm not surprised to see a negative voltage on there hopefully that's not bad for this unit but if you got something sensitive to negative voltages you got to be careful with a power supply unit like this but now I'm gonna hit the power button we will get 5 volts and then you can see we got the power on and we have 10 volts right there that's because I preset this to 10 volts pretty uh, straightforward and this is actually how I preset it just just like this and uh, so there is the uh, trimmer potentiometer there I have a little screwdriver and so looking this way I think counterclockwise raises no counterclockwise lowers the uh, voltage and uh, clockwise raises the voltage there you go and yeah you can just fine-tune it until you get the voltage you want we can go up to a uh, 15 volt so I think this I would have to look at the uh, sheet but uh, if you buy one of these make sure you look at the voltages involved I think this can take in 4 volts and down to 4 volts you can go higher and I think it can output 35 volts that's just what uh, I think I remember it can do and you want the input voltage uh, probably maybe three volts lower than what you are outputting for this particular boost uh, converter from what I can remember but I always check the uh, specs of whatever you buy so it looks like we got spot on 10 volts and that holds even as the input voltage changes so I'll give the input voltage 6 volts 7 volts let's get closer to 10 so it looks like it's changing a hundredth of a volt 
per every volt we're increasing this so it does change a little and now we might damage the unit there we go we got 211 so you don't want to do that but yeah looks like uh, even one volt within one volt maybe okay but you should probably keep it at least two volts for safety but in any case that's it and uh, we're a speck lower there for some reason but uh, that's still pretty much spot on 10 volts it's that easy to set it so the rest of this video we're just going to use this at 10 volts and so now we have this little setup here so the uh, alligator clips of this uh, supply here I usually clip them to jumpers like this and I can peg them into the board if I go up high enough and the other side of the jumper goes to the rail right there and you can see those two LEDs turned on so these are wired the same except for we have two series LEDs here and then five series LEDs right there and we got about five milliamps of current going through there each one of these resistors is a hundred ohms right there so 200 ohms protecting those two LEDs 200 ohms protecting these five LEDs but these are blocking more than five volts there's five of them they're blocking at least 1.6 volts each and uh, we can grab this bottom one here and move this resistor down one spot right there have three in series and uh, you may be able to tell they are faintly glowing right there just barely though they're blocking pretty much all the power supply voltage so it uh, doesn't take very long before these uh, LEDs block uh, voltage so whatever reason we want five series LEDs and we want to uh, keep these two going so we got the uh, voltage booster there of course we can't apply power to the same rail so I'll pluck that resistor there and uh, we're gonna use alligator clips I still have the output ones there to make our connection we could leave this to ground too but I'm gonna wire it completely separately like that right there so this resistor up here you can't at the top you can't really see where it is and it doesn't want to go into that spot so before I mess up the metal anymore let's go over here so this board is getting old I've used it quite a bit and so some of these holes they are a little bit damaged but in any case let's move that over so we can see a little bit better so we have this set to 10 volts as we saw before we can expect this to block uh, somewhere about seven and a half volts around that and uh, so 200 ohms should uh, be just fine for limiting current so let's zoom back and I'm gonna power this with the rail I have these jumpers that I crimped alligator clips to and so the blue one I'll plug in there red one I'll plug in here and we'll just power the unit like we did earlier and uh, I'm gonna go red down here because as you can see yeah red is lower down there we go and we'll power the unit so this is a way good way you can get two voltages out of one power supply and uh, this is like a hundred dollars this is like a buck or two and uh, so I think it can handle up to maybe 500 milliamps of current half an amp but in any case there we go we have the LEDs over there lit up with 10 volts right now and some of these LEDs have been more abused than other ones so they won't be as bright you pass high current through them they still work uh, unless they they completely burn out but then from then on they're just not as bright but uh, in any case they're all passing the same amount of current in fact you can see the current flow right there when we make the connection so another thing about this we could uh, just use 10 volts to power all of this and use higher value resistors to protect those LEDs you see that all the time and for LEDs that's that's fine because you're not dealing with much power look how uh, little current we're using but if 
we were using uh, higher power uh, components, ones that demand more uh, current. Then if we put 10 volts across everything and just use higher resistance, that means the lower demand uh, load circuit will be consuming, will be wasting power because these resistors just get heat up and uh, so with the uh, voltage converter is it converts current into voltage and uh, so more current is going into the unit than is coming out but it's coming out at a higher voltage so the power is going to be about equal whereas if we just uh, power both of these we use higher value resistors there then from a, a 10 volt power supply then you have that higher voltage for a same current there you're wasting power so that's a little complicated but that is a big plus for converters is you save a lot of power because you're not heating up components needlessly and uh, so in any case hopefully that all made sense really not much to it uh, a lower voltage in higher voltage out and you get power savings because you're using a good voltage for all of the loads in this case we got two different loads and we're using a better voltage for the uh, two of them to save power so thanks for watching I will see you in the next video